Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puru Dhoman and today in this video we will discuss PTH. PTH also known as parathyroid hormone. When the kidney starts failing, the level of PTH increases in the blood and this increased level of the PTH gives worry to the patient because patient doesn't understand why the level of PTH is increasing and how we can control this increased level of PTH. So let's start with parathyroid. Parathyroid is a type of endocrine gland which is situated in your neck near your thyroid gland and it secretes parathyroid hormone and the function of parathyroid hormone is to regulate the level of calcium in your blood because if the parathyroid hormones fails to function properly the level of the calcium increases in the blood and this increased level of the calcium will deposit in the vital organs like your lungs, your heart and the functioning of these vital organs will be affected. So parathyroid plays very important role in our body to regulate the amount of calcium in our blood so that the complication like deposition of the calcium in a vital organ can be easily controlled. Once the level of the calcium increases in our blood, the parathyroid hormones gets activated. It deposits all the extra amount of calcium to your bones. As the bones get more calcium, the bones become more stronger and, and the level of the calcium falls in your blood. Now the question arises why this PTH is increased in a patient of a kidney failure. To make PTH work properly, PTH needs active form of vitamin D. Because our body contains two forms of vitamin D. One is inactive form of vitamin D, another form is active form of vitamin D. Because as the kidney fails, the activation of the vitamin D stops, it falls. And as the level of the vitamin D goes down in our body, what happens? The absorption of the calcium from the food, from the intestines to the blood falls. And as the level of this absorption falls, what happens the amount of the calcium in the blood also falls which causes excess secretion of PTH to parathyroid hormone and the level of PTH increases. Another factor which causes high level of PTH in the blood is the high level of phosphorus because kidney also perform a function to control the phosphorus in our blood and as the function of the kidneys goes down this regulation of the phosphorus also goes down and the level of the phosphorus starts build up in the blood and as the phosphorus build in the blood it causes replacement of the calcium from the bone because the valency of the phosphorus and the calcium is same it's two plus so phosphorus can replace calcium from the bone and as this replacement of calcium with the phosphorus happens in the bones the bones become soft the bones become brittle so to control this level of phosphorus, we have to use phosphorus burden in a patient of kidney failure so that the amount of the phosphorus in the blood can be managed. Because phosphorus is present in each and every food item. So when we eat something, when we take our meal, we advise patient of kidney failure to take phosphorus binder because phosphorus, what will it do? It will bind all the phosphorus which is present in the food and it will pass through the stool. So it will doesn't allow phosphorus from the food to go into the bloodstream which is very helpful for a kidney failure patient to keep the bones healthy. Now I hope you have understand why the level of PTH increases in a patient of kidney failure. If you have any kind of doubt query regarding kidney failure, how we can control the level of kidney in urea, you can simply send your reports on the number given below. As our doctors receive those reports, they will examine them. After careful examination and complete history of the patient, the treatment will be advised and you can see the changes in the body in the level of kidney in urea overall health within a time span of one month. With this, allow us to say goodbye. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.